Hey Daniel, this is Bill uh, from Molten Voltage and I'm going to show you real quick how to set up osmosis and what it can do. Um, the first thing you want to do is plug your output of your gig rig into the input of osmosis then send the output of osmosis over to CME and then from CME you can connect the MIDI through there onto the rest of the MIDI devices. So the first thing we'll do is go through the <clears throat> globals menu um, to get there, you hold down the button on Osmosis while you power it on. Then you'll see it said Edit Globals, and now we're in the Globals menu. First thing is the MIDI Receive Channel. You can set it to Omni, or um, my stuff's set to MIDI Channel 15, so that's what I'm going to have it on. Then press the button to advance. Um, expression Map CC. This is the incoming expression controller value that's going to get remapped and you can remap an expression controller separately for each program. Um, normally an expression controller is CC11, so that's what the default is. Next one is pass all channels on or off. Um, the default is off. That means program changes that come from your controller, do they all get passed through or only that MIDI receive channel? If this is off, only the MIDI receive channel programs get passed through. If this is set to on, then any program change on any channel will get passed through. So we'll leave that one off. Um, pass CCs through off. That, that means this uh, osmosis can block incoming control changes. Um, because it sends out its own control changes, the default is to have that off. But if you want to have that on, you can too. And the other thing is the pass CC through, it can be off, but the expression controller will still get passed through if it's going to be remapped. So you can leave that one off probably. Um, pass program changes through. Uh, the default is on and that, that means it'll pass through the original program change from your controller, the one that, that triggers the remapping. So we'll leave that one on. And then um, pass keyboard data off. That's um, you know note on and note off and after touch and pitch bend and all the other keyboard stuff that guitar players don't usually need. Um, clock block off and that will block um, if it's on it'll block incoming MIDI clock won't let it pass through um, if it's off you can still block it for individual programs so the default is to have it off so the clock will pass through and then it can be turned on or off for each program and then song select block uh, on mo there aren't very many devices that use song select that are guitar based so we're gonna leave that one on and to exit you just hold down the button and then you send a program change from your MIDI controller. Um, so we just sent it program change 8. And now when we hold down this button, we're going to edit what happens when program change, hit, hits osmo, program change 8 hits osmosis. What does osmosis do in response? It can send out up to 5 program changes and up to 16 different control changes in response to each incoming program change. And again, it also will pass through this incoming program change. So to get into the edit mode, you just hold down the button. Now, you hold it down long enough till you get to edit mode on. You saw that it said release to copy. If you hold it down a little bit and the release to copy comes on and then you let off, you can actually copy one setup to another. Um, we don't have any setups yet, so we're gonna we're gonna copy or there's nothing to copy yet, so we're gonna adjust this. So the first thing we have here is um, program change A. They're A through E, so it's A, B, C, D, E. Um, this is the outgoing program change number. It gets program change 8 coming in. What's it gonna send out in response? Well, whatever we want it to. And you can see over on the whammy here, it also, as we're adjusting anything, it sends out the change in real time too, so you can you can hear what's happening on your other device. Um, let's just say we want uh, program change 17, and then we can select what MIDI channel it happens on. Now I have the whammy here um, set to channel one, so that's what we're going to keep it on. Now here's program change B. The only the first program change is on um, as the default but again you can send out up to 16 different ones but you're only ever going to see one of them that's off so 
What that means is if you have program change A programmed, but not program changes B through E, you're only going to get to B unless you turn B on. Then you'll get to C. But if we want to go back and turn B off, you'll see it just skips right to the control changes. And to navigate back and forth quickly, to advance through the, through the different steps, you press the button. Uh, but if you want to do it quickly, you can press and hold the button. And then you'll see it'll cycle very quickly through the different, the different output settings. So, um, again, you can send out five different program changes, A through E, each on their own separate MIDI channel, too. So then, um, control change A, if we wanted to send out a control change, we set, say, okay, here's the controller number. Um, let's just say it's 11. And then we can also, instead of a control change, it could also be a note on. Um, the reason that's included is because a lot of the Moog gear um, uses note on to control some of the parameters. They're, they're basically the only company that does that, but a lot of people that have inquired about osmosis have Moog gear, so... I included that as well. And then the value of the controller, the, out, the, the default is 127. Um, obviously, you can set that wherever you want. And then you can send out each of these 16 control changes on separate MIDI channels as well. And let's back up here. Um, control change 11. Now, if we don't want any control change, we just set it to off. And again, if you, if you don't have anything programmed on control change A, you're not going to get to B, C, D, E, F, any of the others. Um, but if we do have it on, you'll see, then we can get to control change B. But we're going to go back and turn that one off. And now here's the expression map destination. Again, this can be set specially for each program. So the default coming in is 11. Um, the default going out is 11, but we can change that um, because, say, the particular parameter you want to control for that song is on controller 26. So we set it to that, and then we can set it to its own MIDI channel, too. So say your Moog gear is on channel 3. And then, again, you can set the clock block individually for each program. Um, the reason you might want that is... Some gear, if you send it MIDI clock, will automatically sync to MIDI clock if it's coming in, like the Strymon timeline. Well, sometimes you want to have a really fast delay time or something, so you don't want that MIDI clock to take over. So you can actually block the clock for individual programs. And um, so there we are. We have uh, the outgoing program change. And once we've got it where we want, we just hold down the button until it says... Change is saved. Now, each time we send that program change, um, it's going to send out... Each time we send program change into Osmosis, it's going to send out that separate program change, number 17. And um, that's basically all there is to it. Just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.